Okay. The black arrow looks like a sickle again. Mm -hmm. And the blue, I thought maybe it was, I couldn't tell if that was like a, a blister there, but it doesn't look quite like those other blisters you showed. Kind of, this one's kind of irregular shaped. I'm not sure what those are. So those are either called SC crystals or SC cells. Okay. So this patient has hemoglobin SC disease instead oh. of hemoglobin you know, SS, sickle disease. So it's a combination of hemoglobin C and hemoglobin S together. And hemoglobin SC makes these irregular crystals. Okay. Now, I don't have a picture of hemoglobin C, That's fine. unfortunately. But hemoglobin C has nice, pretty tetragonal crystals. And that you should Google and look at because that is one of the also those pictures that they put on and expect you to know the diagnosis okay. based on what it looks so like. So there's crystal inside the cell and that's what's making the cell distort its shape? Yeah, it distorts. And and again, in hemoglobin C, it's a nice crystal. And people that have, patients that have SC, they still will get some sickled cells as well? Right, but not normally as many. Okay. Like you're normally hunting for them. Okay. They can still get sickle crises. Okay. Um. And then this is a platelet on top of a red cell, right? Yes. Another trick, okay. Another trick.